Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Welcome to NASA Kennedy Space Center. What an amazing entrance. You see the rockets in the background there? And there's the NASA sign. We're going to show you all over this place today. Let's start the journey. You come here. There's maps everywhere to show you where you're at. And there's John F. Kennedy. You can hear him talking in the background. Look at all these rockets. This is what you see when you first get here. These have all been in space. All right, we're heading into the bus tour. This is a must here to do. And today you'll be following me behind the gates on this exclusive bus tour of Kennedy Space Center. Our journey will take us past active facilities and end at the Ready, visitor complex's own Apollo Saturn V Center. Lockheed Martin has but developed a capsule do. called Orion like that will sit atop the this. SLS rocket. This capsule is designed to facilitate human exploration of the moon and eventually Mars. Great areas in the center of the building. See the white one? Take your eyes, focus all the way down to the ground. Those are not mouse holes. They're people doors. <laughs> They're industrial sized people doors. The mobile launcher provides fuel and power to the SLS at the Orion. It's actually the stacking platform for the rocket. So the platform next to this 380 foot tower that the rocket is actually built next to and then the umbilical arms attached to it to provide that fuel and power. The largest self-powered land vehicle in the world. It was originally built in 1965 for the Apollo program and has since been updated to accommodate the space shuttle and now NASA's SLS rocket weighing in at 6 million pounds and capable of lifting and hauling 18 million pounds. The crawler is an engineering marvel. All right, and this camera is not going to give you the view of how big this actually is, but it is incredible. Look at this. We're underneath this rocket. It goes the whole length of this building just look at the size of this rocket. The bus tour takes you out here to, I think it's called the Saturn V location. I'm so excited to be here and it did not disappoint. Just following Todd around right now. <laughs> this is where they got all the spacecraft and put the flag up. This is the Apollo 1 tribute area. If you love history, you gotta come in here. This is the view that the Apollo mission saw as they were getting on board. We are all on board in spirit. There's the lunar rover. I know I'm standing in here, but look at the size of the, these people. It's like you can actually see how big this really is. And here is a model of it. it. Shows you the different stage, the first stage, the second, and the third stage of those rockets. God, look at this. It is the actual capsule on one of the Apollo missions. If you're a space buff, I tell you, there's so much in here history. Just look at all the different space suits they got in here. This is the actual flight plan of Apollo 7. I want to see these engines. I know, from the other side. Wow! Just look at the size of these jet engines. I just find that very interesting. Look at the motor parts up there on the outside of these things. Kennedy Space Center. You could see the rocket behind us, but you got to come to the Kennedy Space Center. It's so incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, everything's a lot larger than I imagined it was going to be. Yeah, the buildings yeah. and everything. They call this the service module. And you know one thing about this place, you go through at your own pace. 
This is like a hologram of one of the astronauts. But you can ask him questions and he will answer them. We are go for launch. All right, and this is the original countdown clock for the Apollo missions. Space Shuttle Atlantis, Kennedy Space Center. This is one of the booster rockets of the Space Shuttle. This is another one of the buildings you can glean. This is the Atlantis. This is what I came to see. Oh my gosh, I tell you, it was worth the price of admission right here. This is incredible. No words can describe that this thing's been in space and I'm standing right next to it. So much to see in here. Oh my gosh, you can even sit in the Atlantis. Think you can do it, huh? Sure. <laughs> wow, look at this. I think I can drive this thing. Look here. It's a satellite in this place. Oh no, it's a telescope. Only at NASA. I tell you one thing, everywhere, every corner you turn, you see something different. And you can even go down. We're gonna walk down the stairs, but you could see these places underneath. I tell you, the more I look at like this, I feel like I'm in Disneyland. I can't believe I'm actually seeing the real Atlantis that was launched into space. What they say, like 26 times, something like that? T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one, zero, and lift off. I know it had like 150 million miles on it. This is the burn tiles. Just look at all the burn marks from this thing coming back to Earth. This is cool. They even got a little, almost like a space center in here the kids can crawl through. Does it look like he's flying in space? And they even got a slide. They got it's all kinds of holograms plates, and things to, to tell you stories your, through uh, this table, part. But you do need to clean up after yourself. There's just so much. We've seen the Atlantis. There's all kinds of stuff for kids to do, activities. Look over here. There's the wheels of the space shuttle. All right, we're about to go on the shuttle. This is the space launch simulator. It's a zero minute wait. I can't believe it. It's on a Sunday and we got no wait. I know, it's been incredible. Here we go. Are you scared? No. I'm oh. worried I'm gonna get sick though. She thinks she's gotta get sick because of the motion sickness. 10 seconds to launch. Here we go. We're getting ready to get put into the space shuttle. Oh my God, here we go. Oh, oh man, we are flying five nine six hundred. Your main engine is the bottling back to reduce the pressure on your shuttle as you go through that. Wave goodbye to the external tank and say hello to outer space. Now, whenever you see a space launch, hopefully you will remember your experience here today. And at least in spirit, you'll be on board. And who knows? Maybe one day you will fly with us. This is the exit of the space shuttle launch. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the stars in here. There's the International Space Center. All right, check this out. You can be an astronaut here they've got all kinds of things you can control the, the robotic arms there's one of the original nasa buses that took the astronauts out to the rockets and the shuttle all right here it is the world's largest space shop this place is massive it just keeps going on and on and on 
They even got a second floor of space memorabilia. This is heavy, but the water makes it not heavy. Oh, and they got food here. Here's just one of them, the Orbit Cafe. All right, if you got kids, you want to come in here, Planet Play. This is all kinds of different play areas here. You got things the kids can climb on way up there, tunnels. There's a Mars Tower. I tell you one thing, I wish I was four again. There's plenty of stuff to do. They got an IMAX theater. Over here is the Mars Rover. Let's see what that looks like. And now we're on Mars. <laughs> All right, and if this is not beautiful, you got the palm trees, but this is the International Space Center. Look at all these countries' flags. This is called the Rocket Garden. Let's just stroll through here and see what we can see. Man, these are original rockets that have came through NASA in some way, shape, or form. That one back here in the back has got my attention. And there's histories of every one of these launches. USA, United States of America, 1957. Cold War cooperation. But look at this place. There's the gateway behind it and so many more rockets. What do you think of this place, hon? Huh? It's pretty incredible. I'm yeah. having a great day. <laughs> it is insane. Look at this thruster motor. I think this is one of the SpaceX rockets. Delta II. That's it, the rocket garden. All right, we're now in the gateway building. I'm not sure what this place is, but it's pretty fabulous looking, that's for sure. Look at that rocket overhead. So there's four different flight simulators when you get into the Gateway Building. And it's to simulate time travel to go wherever you'd like to go. Same one. Over the course of this mission, Juno studied Jupiter's formation and weather, including the Great Red Spot, which is a giant storm, almost one and a half Earth wide. Great in 2012, but it's likely Earth. All right, again, we're at Port Canaveral. We're wrapping our day up, but I tell you one thing, this was amazing, wasn't it? It was. What yeah. was your highlight? Um, the Atlantis building, which is where we're still at. Yeah, the Atlantis <laughs> building. But so much to do. Yeah.